So look, now I know all you guys know I'm a trial master, but I'm gonna keep it honest with you. Combo trials are actually pretty helpful. Johnny Combo and Ben Set. This combo is actually almost his bread and butter. It's not honestly the optimal one, but it's almost there. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. You can go look up an Omino set right now and be like, damn, that actually almost looked like this trial. Game. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? I know a lot of people have been asking me this question, man. Yo, you need to make a guide on how to get into Rev2. I'm going to help you guys out, and I'm going to give you guys these tips, and I promise you right now, you guys are going to be having a blast, and you guys are going to be like, wow, I didn't even know about that. You guys are going to be so amazed. But before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and let me know how you guys feel about this video. And if you guys are excited now with this information to get into Rev2, let's jump into the video. I know a lot of people have been really asking like, man, how can we get into Rev 2 if we never play Kills Gear Revelator in our lives? So look, I'm about to help you guys out, man. There's a lot of stuff going on in the game, but it is not as complicated as you seem. It's actually a very easy game to get into and have fun. But obviously, if you want to take it to the next level, uh, it's going to be quite complicated, right? That's how every fighting game should be, correct? But it's very easy to jump into, and we're going to talk about the most obvious thing that a lot of people always just miss out, and that is tutorial mode. This tutorial mode is fantastic. It has a lot of obstacle course that you can run through. We have movement, movement and attacking, intros to combos, blocking and counterattacking, roaming canceling, combining everything all at once, and of course, fighting at the king of the hill herself, Jack. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a few tutorials. And I'm telling you guys, right now, this is really, really helpful. Let's jump into one of the hardest things that everybody always talks about in fighting game, and that is combos. Time to learn about the basic combos, right? We have freedom of Gatling, so we have punch, kick, slash, heavy slash. Proper timer will result to a true combo. Jacko herself telling us what to do. So look, repeat the opponent with the punch, slash, slash, heavy slash. Boom, boom, look at that. Already combo. you know? With these combinations. Pretty sick, huh? Then you gotta run in. Look at this. He was te teaching you how to do a combo. And because there's so many gauntlets that you can do, it really doesn't matter what combo options you choose. He even talks to there are servers above you that are off screen. And you can attempt a crouching slash, jumping slash, and then jump slash. So you can jump cancel. We even teaches you about jump canceling, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boom. It even teach you like the Gatlin combos, attempt to follow the input. So, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So a lot of people are just like, man, this game is so complicated. Well, this is a tutorial mode. It's actually very fantastic. And it's only gonna get better of what I gotta show you guys, trust me. I got a lot to show you guys. Especially the young bloods that are trying to get into the new game. Don't listen to people who tell you about, oh, welcome to Guilty Gear, Revelator 2. Don't listen to them, okay? I'm telling you right now, you're going to have a blast if you have your mind open to having fun. And if you want to get good and become a strong Rev 2 player, I'm the man that's going to get you there, man. I'm telling you right now, you could definitely do it with these things that I'm going to show you. Here we go. So look. Completing the stage, there you go. So then he's gonna teach you about blocking and counterattacking. But I'm gonna leave this to you guys because I want you guys to experience it yourself. But there's so many possibilities that you can learn. But let's really get to the nitty gritty part. You know, the things that people are like, oh, okay, this is it, really? It seems like a video that's pretty obvious. No, let me show you the real stuff. You thought it was combos, but it's actually mission mode. Mission mode, this is the best thing I ever had to experience to learn when I was first starting this game. And there's so many things that you can learn. Jump and stall, combo into instant kills, getting up and close to attack, intercepting, pokes. And the best part about it, it has so many difficulty levels that you could experiment by. So, you know, let's go and check out, like, for example, option select. Option select is something that a lot of players that I know who are new to games are like, bro, I don't know what option selects are. What is this? I never heard of something like this, bro. I'm just trying to hit buttons. But you know what I like about this game? This game, even if you're not trying to be a pro or try hard or whatever you want to call us nowadays, you at least get to understand the information so even if you're watching this game you understand what happened and one of the things that they're going to teach you and new players 
You guys can just go through this with me. Option selects, throw. So often a failed throw attempt will result in a huge whiff with standing heavy slash or four heavy slash. And basically what that's saying is when you try to press a throw and you're out of range, your normal is gonna come out. And it's usually a big normal with huge startup and long recovery. But with the option select, you can mitigate that recovery and still uh, cover two birds with one stone. We're gonna do this example and see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna start up. I'm gonna just do it without the option select. So I'm matched up. See that? So he goes to the overhead. I can't throw him. Now you get to see the option select. Now I got throw. There we go. Now we got four punch. So I'm option selecting with four punch, four punch heavy slash. But the best part about it is you can keep practicing and practicing, which is always great, right? And this is a good thing to learn, just if you're trying to improve, and just if you want to just practice doing like the cool mini games that Guilty Gear Revelator 2 brings. So yeah, it's right there. You know, so many universal mechanics that you can learn. You know, instant air dashing, whiff punishing, countering, gold burst, even teach you how to fuzzy guard. You know, a lot of people was like, what? I hear people say he fuzzy blocked that. What does that mean? Well, this game teaches you that. The best part is that's not it. There are another thing that you can learn. So you're like, okay, we learned the universal mechanics. Now, what about characters? Well, guess what? Just like that, matchups. So usually most of these tutorials is gonna talk about the stuff that most characters are most likely gonna be using in matches, and it's gonna teach you how to stop it. And that's not it. So let's go for example, like, okay, Axel. So Artemis Hunter, uh, visibility move that knocks the opponent back for distance when hit. Predict it and do the punish accordingly. And the best part about it is, is you can do it with any character that you want to learn. We're going to keep it simple for you guys. Kai, man. Let's, let's bring out Kai, right? Perfect. So Kai. So here you go. So it's telling you press P to start, and it wants you to deal more than 100 damage. So this is the cool part. So now you get to learn, oh man, so I got to do 100 damage off this punish. And that's basically showing you that if you can get 100 damage, you're doing a pretty okay job. Obviously, I'm messing up. And this is cool because it's a little learning. Thing. And then you experiment, and it's like, okay, I got the combo. There you go. We learning those punishes. We learning how to punish. And this game is going to teach you all of that, which is amazing. Not a lot of games really teach you this, right? So I think this is really good if you really want to learn what Rev2 is all about while also having fun. So, you thought that was done? Okay. So look, now I know all you guys know I'm a trial master, but I'm gonna keep it honest with you. Combo, Combo trials are actually pretty helpful. One of the advice I'm gonna give you guys, to be real with you, is you wanna at least get a hard knockdown when you're playing the game, right? It don't matter what combo is optimal, blah, blah, blah. As long as you get like a nice hard knockdown, you're winning. You're winning in this game if you're trying to improve. Just keep that in mind. Always try to get the hard knockdown. You don't want people teching in your face. When they tech, oh, they come in with the big old haymakers, man. So be careful, all right? I'm going to give you an example. So this Johnny Combo right here. Johnny Combo and Ben Seven. This combo is actually almost his bread and butter. It's not obviously the optimal one, but it's almost there and the reward that you get for it is pretty much the same if you would do the optimal one anyway hey, 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 hey. hey look at that you can go look up an omito set right now and be like damn that actually almost looked like this trial game. all that matters is you get the hard knockdown and you get to play the game with john right now i think that's pretty much everything that covers but there's one more big thing that i'm always going to emphasize what you guys do is make sure you guys don't be too hard on yourself and this game also encourages you to slowly just think about how to do the things in guilty gear x revelator 2. now we're gonna go through the facts look you know there's a lot of people say i can't do it right have a hard time i can't do the combo they're too hard well look what should you do Let's play back and watch the samples together. The game sits there and explains to you everything. Everything that you need to know. You know, if the how, when do I input the command? It shows you right here. Explains to you. I can't remember long combos. 
And it tells you, it can not be it can be overwhelming to see long combos at once and attempt to remember. However, every long combo is composed to, of a series of shorter combos. For example, any combos that transitions from the ground combo into the aerial combo will always have the ground portion. Focus in on practicing that. When you feel comfortable, practice the aerial portion. Then combine them. Trying to remember entire combos at once can be very difficult. First try analyzing the combo and breaking it into parts. So the game explains to you. Take time and just learn it one by one, each section. You don't have to do everything and crazy at the point. This game tells you everything, right? It explains to you. No reason to be like, oh, I can't do it. This is too rough. Oh man, like take your time. Take your time and enjoy it, man. This is a good ass, beautiful ass game. So you know, it gives you all of these cool tips. What kind of characters are they? How do I do special moves? Please read the facts, guys. The facts are so great. And this is the best part about it too. Is there an easier way to play? Let's just say for example, you just wanna play and hit buttons. There is an easier way to play. And that's called Stylish Type. And Stylish Type is actually super cool. It's for those who just wanna get right into the action and save the learning for later. Stylish Type is there on the character selection. Select Stylish Type. And look, I'ma let you know right now, if somebody come at you sideways being like, ha ha, you play Stylish Type, tell them you just mad cause you don't got swag like me. You mad cause you are not stylish. I can just go ahead and show you guys real quick. Training mode, you're like, yo. I wanna go to stylish mode. Here you go. Boom. Look at that. See? Boom. Combo. Hey, in there. So again, guys, don't listen to these people. Enjoy the game. And I hope this guys help you prep for Guilty Gear Revelator 2 and you guys be able to enjoy the amazing little back. Thank you guys for watching. And let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below. Hope this helps. Hope this guys inspire you to have fun with the game. And give the game a try. This game is amazing, guys. All right? Play Guilty Gear Revelator 2. Thanks for watching.